I'm gonna say. Yeah, include the costume. Uh, uh, Patrick. I'm gonna say a hundred thousand. So you know what? Josh Rubner with the U.S. campaign to end the Israeli occupation. We're here at Occupy DC at Freedom Plaza in our nation's capital to find out what people think about the U.S. giving thirty billion dollars in military aid to Israel. Uh, do you know how much military aid the U.S. sends to Israel each year? I don't know, but it's way too much. That number is actually around $3 billion. Oh, that's all? Yes. Well, do you know what that money can actually provide for us back home? Lots of schools and teachers and hospitals. How much uh, military aid and weapons do you think the United States is providing Israel between 2009 and 2018, a 10-year span? I'm going to say... Ten years, the United States is scheduled to give Israel thirty billion dollars in weapons to Israel. And that's money that doesn't get spent on uh, education, food, health care that probably can help more people. Well, for example, um, with three billion dollars, you can provide about three hundred sixty thousand Americans with affordable housing for a whole year. Or maybe even half a million people, so 500,000, with uh, training for green jobs. I know there's 50 million that don't have health insurance. With the same amount of money we give to Israel in weapons every year, we could actually provide primary health care access. 24.3 million, so almost a half. I think the money would be better spent on health care. Would you rather have your money going to weapons for Israel or to... I'm all for getting it, reducing the support for Israel. Thank you for participating in our video survey. We have postcards to the president. Well, here we are at the end of the first day of Occupy DC. We tried really hard, but we didn't find one person here who thought that it was a better idea to fund weapons to Israel rather than our own community needs right here at home. Maybe we'll try again tomorrow. For U.S. Campaign Television, this is Josh Rubner.